So balance disorders are difficult to diagnose because most physicians rely on the history that they take from their patient symptoms. But unfortunately, many different balance disorders have the same symptoms. Patients come in and say they're dizzy, and that really does not help with diagnosis. BPPV stands for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, often shortened to BPV, benign positional vertigo. It's a condition characterized by debris that's loose inside the inner ear that moves when patients turn over in bed or look up. The diagnosis is made by a maneuver called the Dix Hallpike Maneuver, where patients are leaned back to provoke their dizziness, at which time the physician looks for nystagmus, eye jumping, in association with the patient's dizziness. The condition is treated using something called the Particle Repositioning Maneuver, which is performed by turning the patient in a particular way so that gravity moves the particles in the inner ear, through the inner ear, and back to where they belong. Meniere's disease is caused by excess fluid pressure inside the inner ear. And this condition is characterized by episodes lasting for minutes to hours of vertigo spinning, tinnitus ringing in the ears, and hearing loss, usually in one ear. And this condition is difficult to diagnose. The most helpful test is an audiogram, a hearing test, that shows a low frequency hearing loss in one ear or the other. The treatment for this condition is a combination of reducing dietary intake of sodium and a diuretic, a particular diuretic, that reduces the fluid pressure in the inner ear. Migraine problems cause inner ear problems, mostly dizziness, and that's called vestibular migraine. It's actually quite common. It may or may not be associated with migraine headache, so it can, it can occur without headache, in which case some patients have difficulty accepting the fact that they actually are having a migraine because they don't have a headache. While it's true that very few vestibular disorders or dizziness or balance disorders actually are life-threatening conditions. Some of them are, very rarely. But for the most part, it's that this condition of dizziness and a balance disorder reduces the quality of life of our patients. So as physicians, it's important to know how to approach these patients, how to make an accurate diagnosis and treatment.